Hey YouTube, so th I think this is our 10th Unity tutorial now, and this week we're going to work on our coin. We're going to place coins into the game and a way to collect money which we'll eventually spend on the shop. Uh, so this is where we were last time, we could move around, we could jump, we could fire, we just placed a building in, uh, more death strokes which we can still destroy. We can also bump into them and throw them away. Well, okay, apparently we can't. Um, we added Shang Tsung and we have all our terrain and trees. So, um, yeah, our bullets also destroy. So, continuing on, um, first we need to get the 3D model of a coin. So, I did some searching and on the website, what we usually use, there wasn't actually a coin. So I went Google searching and I found one here uh, at 3dsmodels.com on page 6. I will link it in the description. And it has this great old coin which I think would be cool. You can either choose the old coin or the money bag but I quick searched the website and I didn't find any other money. So simply download it, download it free here. Um, thank you and well done to whoever modelled it. It doesn't state your name anywhere so yeah um <coughs> so i to it i'll extract it so got the coin extract to there and i'll be back when it's imported to unity hey youtube so the model's downloaded and in our models folder i created a new folder called items and coins and stuck out old coin in there so as you can see it's already not coloured, I haven't really looked at it yet, so I just, this is off the top of my head, so let's drag it in and have a look. So we zoom really close, but it's a bit small, so click on our old coin and we'll change the scale factor to like 0 0.05 and see if that does it. Click apply, and it's a bit bigger, but not big enough, so click the old coin to 1, yeah. It might be really big though, so once it kind of big, not really small. That's uh, how big. Let's test it compared to someone over here. Shao Kahn, he's the one picking it up. Hmm. Test it over with someone else because he's floating off the floor, like so. Hmm, that's a little big even for that. So change the old coin, we'll change to like 0 0.5. Half the size, that should do. Hopefully. Yeah, that'll do. And we'll just have it floating and we'll get a small casual spin like or something off a. S I want to send Mario, but I'm not sure. So we'll like stick it here, that'll do. There we go, stick it off the floor. And that's it. So we have a basic coin. It's not textured properly, so we may need to find a texture another day. But apart from that, yeah. So we have a coin, but it has no way to be picked up. So uh, we'll get rid of the animation because we don't want that. And it's got some textures, but not the ones what we want. So we'll hide them. Add a box collider. I think that'd be best, maybe. Have a look what we got. Hmm. We'll just add a box collider, it makes it a lot easier. There we go. <coughs> and we won't add a rigid body, because if we had a rigid body, it would fall straight to the floor, and we want it to float, because it would be cool. So, yeah, we make it a trigger, so we can actually walk through it, because then we, as soon as we hit it, we can make it destroy itself and add to our money. So, um, we need to do some scripting. So, open up our scripts folder, create a new folder to make it more organized, and call this one player starts. That'll do. Right click player starts, create a JavaScript, and we will call it player underscore money. That'll do. And this will store our main variable, which will store our money. So, this won't take long to script this part of it. So double click it to open it up. Again, I'm going to be using Notepad++, but ignore all these because these are from my other game which I'm working on. Don't even know that. 
Um, so to start underneath Pagma script, create var. It needs to be static though, so it, the whole project can access it because if only one thing can access it, we can't like add shops or something. So I thought that'd be cool. But with static var players underscore money, and we'll make it uh, equal hundred. So he has hundred pounds, dollars, or euros, depending on where you are. So now that's done, we will go back to Unity, and we will dra click our main character, which is character, and we will drag on player money. So it's always there. As you notice, if it's static, we can't actually edit it. Like movement, as you can see, we can edit those um, integers, but we can't edit these ones. So. If you start it, you have to edit it from script only. Um, next, in the um, scripts folder, we'll create a new folder so we can keep more organized and we will call it coin. If we just call it money. money. And create a new JavaScript inside and call it collection. Yes. So, open that. And to start, we will press enter underneath function update. Function start starts at the beginning, as you know. Function update calls it every frame. We need to declare a new function, so type function, and we'll call it on trigger enter. Click double bracket and like that. So it's pretty much the same. But in these brackets, we will do um, call. I think I've already gone over this, but we need what the colliding name is and our collider. So we want collider, call, and collider. This one can be called anything, but if we collide with whatever, we want players money. I think that's right. Players money, no capitals, like so. But because we're, it's not in this script, we need to declare which script it is in so if we type player dot money there's the script and put a dot after it it'll go I think it's dot no it's underscore player underscore money which is our script there it'll call go to that script and look in there for these variables named player money which it will find to be hundred sorry about that, that's my dog um, players money and we will plus equals so whatever it is plus it by 10 so anything any trigger it enters what this script's attached to and it should plus it by 10 so this may not work it I'm if not I know a simple fix but let's test it so I believe it we should attach this to the character and there, uh, and drag the collection there. Click OK. No, wait, let's go back. What we need to do is in the player money, we need to print a statement so we can actually see if it's working or not. So this is simple. In the function update, tap print, open bracket, speech marks. Well, no speech marks. Print, and then we want player underscore money dot players underscore money so you want that variable to be printed when it prints a variable you will see it, it will print it in the console below here where the errors show it will print there not meaning it's an error but it will print there so that should work but also we want to destroy the coin so if we stand there it doesn't keep going up and up and up and up and up and up so um, here we type capital D destroy open bracket game object if that doesn't work it'll either destroy us or the coin so let's test it it's all about testing with unity other game engines like UDK which I've been using recently it takes like forever to be able to just click the play button so yeah let's click it bink and it didn't work did it maybe not no so there we want to destroy call dot game object and get rid of game object just call destroy the call and play it again 
That's the good thing about Unity, it instantly loads up. And it works, kind of. We can collect it, and it gives us 1 plus 10. If it let me click it, 1 plus 10, 10. I know, we get rid of this print statement and we'll stick it in the collection under where it collects it there. So every time it collects it, it will print it. And we'll put, add the game object back, let's see what that does. Well, it didn't throw any errors, so it must work. Let's try it. Dink, there we go, we collected the coin! That easy. So with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 lines of code, we just made a coin and a money system in our game. Now with this variable here, whenever we collect a coin, we can like add to that variable and then like when you get a thousand, we can make it like you purchase a car or something, I don't know. Um, but we can just basically tell whatever script we have for the shop to minus equals the player's money. So, yeah. That looks like it's working. So if we go back to Unity, close our scripts and open our prefab. Right click create and prefab. Call this coin. We'll just call it coin. So, there, no. There, yeah, old co there. So we'll get this old coin and we will drag it to coin, and we'll go back to our Y view and we'll drag loads of coins on. So, coin, 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 coin. One, two, three, four, five. So all from the top red. If this works completely, we should have coins at the floor and 150 when we collect them all. So. Hundred and ten, ah, hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty, hundred and forty, and hundred and fifty. It works. We now have a coin system. So that's easy. But uh, there's really bad, bad coins like under the floor. That's not what we want. So select all the coins that are on the floor. Come into the back view. And we will drag them up so they are the same height as roughly that one. So we find our other old coin, get the Y axis, and copy and paste it to all of these, like so. This is why I love Unity, just click play instantly. Like, nah. UDK, what, which we use at college sometimes, it like takes ages to load. And it completely just crashes the system half the time, but I've never had a problem with Unity. There we go. Now, um, yeah, I think we should try and make it rotate slowly. Um, I may have to pause it here because I'm not too good at the rotating, but we'll have a go first. So scripts, we'll right click the money, well click the money first, right click, create, JavaScript, we'll call it money rotation. Yep, open that up and we will get transform dot rotate in the update function dot y um, plus equals 10 times sign time dot delta time yeah that may work that may not work if it works I'm going to be impressed if not nope there we go oh, uh, oh simple capital put a capital on and nope still don't like it so i'll pause it here go and have a look and be right back hey youtube so i'm back for the final time and to simply fix it we go after time that delta time space times um 30. so times whatever the time that delta time which is one degrees per second times 30 so 30 degrees per second that should do hopefully let's try and boom we have rotating coins, oh my god. Ting, ting. I think next um, tutorial we will add a like Mario ping sound, like ting or something. Ting. Like when he collects the money. And we'll add some sounds in so when we fire it, it says like kabunga or something, I don't know. I was searching for kabunga and I can't find that anywhere, so I don't know if I'm saying it wrong or something, but um, we have to try again. 
but I'm just going to speed these coins up a minute for like uh, yeah I'll do <coughs> so yeah we'll find another sound for him but yeah there we go coins ting 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 oh that one doesn't want to be collected ting there we go if we fire at it it shouldn't I need to test something where's the trigger is he a trigger no do we have any triggers? So I'm thinking, if it's what I'm thinking, if we have another trigger and we enter it, it will mess up and like count it as money. Yeah, oh well. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Find any problems, post in the comments. I'm happy to help. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and see you later.